This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. Well guys, I've got to say that it feels like it's been a while, but I'm glad to be back. Today I want to go over the most valuable guns and weapons in Fallout 4. Now, I'm not necessarily going for the highest resale value here, uh, and I've instead opted to categorize these guns based on a value to weight ratio. So that means we'll be grading these weapons based on a bottle caps per pound basis. It's also worth mentioning that you're better off looting these guns as opposed to buying them as they tend to command high prices. That said, these weapons are good to resell to vendors as they have relatively high value for their weight. Top 10 most valuable guns and weapons in Fallout 4 starting now. Number 10. The Revolutionary Sword. The Revolutionary Sword clocks in at about 16.6 .6 to 50 bottle caps per pound, depending on the various upgrades available for it. What's worth mentioning is that most melee weapons don't actually gain additional weight as you upgrade them, and this means that if you happen to come across a relatively light melee weapon, uh, they might be worth picking up to resell, especially if they're upgraded in any way. According to the Fallout Wiki, Revolutionary swords can be acquired on raider type enemies after level 21. Number 9, the 44 pistol. The 44 pistol clocks in at about 21.6 to 35.4 bottle caps per pound depending on the various upgrades that are available for it. Overall, the 44 pistol is a pretty good weapon for pistol users and the ammo is relatively valuable to sell for some extra caps as well. Uh, there are also currently three unique variants, which are the Kellogg's Pistol, the Gainer, and Eddie's Piece. According to the Fallout Wiki, the 44 pistol can be looted from Trigger Men. Uh, however, in my experience, I found that this weapon and its ammo is somewhat rare to find out in the wild. Uh, so if you do see it, I do think you should pick it up. Number 8, the Syringer Rifle. The Syringer Rifle clocks in at about 23.3 to 29.3 bottle caps per pound, depending on the various upgrades that are available for it. Uh, of all of the ballistic type rifles in Fallout 4, the Syringer is the most valuable. Uh, it's also functionally the most different as you have to craft ammo for it as opposed to acquiring it off of enemies or by purchasing the ammo from vendors. Uh, now the first location you're probably going to find this thing is in Vault 81 for completing the hole in the wall side quest. Uh, now you will have to complete that side quest under certain conditions, however I won't disclose those here for spoiler reasons. Um, otherwise you can acquire it in several other fixed locations, so I would just recommend that you be on the lookout for it. Number 7, The Power Fist, non-legendary version. The Power Fist clocks in at 25 to 50 bottle caps per pound, depending on the various upgrades that are available for it. Uh, it's worth mentioning that the Heating Coil upgrade doesn't add any additional weight, while the Puncturing upgrade does. Uh, keep in mind that the value here is for the non-legendary version of the Power Fist, and the legendary versions will have a better value to weight ratio. Uh, the version that I recommend that you go after is the Furious Power Fist, which is acquired by Killing Swan at Swan's Pond near Good Neighbor. Uh, not only is this a good weapon, uh, but it's also pretty valuable to sell if you are going to decide that you need to sell it. Uh, I just recommend that you bring some stim packs if you're at a low level and you're trying to go after this weapon. Number 6, Plasma Weapons in General. Plasma weapons overall have a pretty good value to weight ratio and can clock in at anywhere between 30.9 to 52 bottle caps per pound depending on the various upgrades that are available for them. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that like the 44 pistol, plasma cartridges are relatively valuable as well and tend to command high prices at the various in-game vendors. Uh, generally, you can find these on high level gunner mercenaries. Uh, there are also a couple of good legendary and unique variants of plasma weapons that you can find as well, uh, though they can be quite expensive. Number 5, the Gatling Laser. The Gatling Laser clocks in at about 41.5 to 45.4 bottle caps per pound, depending on the various upgrades that are available for them. Uh, out of all of the heavy weapons, the Gatling Laser not only has the best value to weight ratio, but also uses the most economical ammo type in the game, 
and those are fusion cores. Now, fusion cores typically provide anywhere from 27 to 127.91 damage per bottle cap spent. Uh, these are somewhat rare to find in the wild though. Uh, I'm talking about Gatling lasers. Uh, that said, I suppose you could either buy one on the Pridwin, or you could just kill a Brotherhood of Steel soldier and just take it from him. Ultimately, it's gonna be up to you. Number four, the Deliverer, non-legendary. So this will be a bizarre entry on this list as the Deliverer is typically a legendary or unique weapon with the VATS enhanced legendary weapon effect. Uh, however, the non-legendary version of the Deliverer clocks in at about 40.5 to 68.6 .6 bottle caps per pound, depending on the various upgrades that are available for it. Uh, now, keep in mind that if you do acquire the legitimate version of the Deliverer in game, the bottle cap per pound or uh, value to weight ratio values will be higher as legendary effects increase a weapon's value to weight ratio. Uh, you can only acquire the Deliverer once during the Railroad Mission Tradecraft. Number three, the Gamma Gun. The Gamma Gun clocks in at 50.7 to 63.1 ball caps per pound, depending on the various upgrades that are available for it. Overall, the Gamma Gun is a really nice weapon and is one of the only weapons in Fallout 4 that has a unique weapon modification. It actually has two unique weapon modifications uh, that ultimately take form of both the Zeta Gun and the Lorenzo's Artifact Gamma Gun. Uh, the only other weapon in the game that does have a unique modification like this is Kremva's Tooth, which has the Sacrificial Blade modification. Now, typically, you can find these on Children of Adam cult members. That's, of course, the Gamma Gun that we're talking about. Now, according to the Fallout Wiki, uh, Children of Adam can be located at the Decayed Reactor site, which I believe is in the south west part of the map. Uh, there's also the Dartmouth Professional Building, and there's also the Kingsport Lighthouse, which is on the more northeastern part of the map and can also be a settlement. Number two, the Shish Kebab. The Shish Kebab clocks in at about 66.6 .6 to 83.6 .6 bottle caps per pound, depending on whether it is fully upgraded or not. Uh, interestingly, this isn't actually a unique and one of a kind weapon as it can occasionally be found as a rare drop and has the potential to spawn as a legendary version by killing a legendary enemy. Uh, now, keep in mind, the shish kebab with a legendary effect will have an even higher value to weight ratio than it normally would. Uh, now, the most common guaranteed shish kebab in the game is acquired by killing slag at Saugus Ironworks, uh, which is a part of a uh, little mini quest that you can do. And finally, number one the Alien Blaster Pistol. This is without a doubt the most valuable weapon in Fallout 4 for its weight. Uh, the Alien Blaster Pistol clocks in at 550 to 596.5 bottle caps per pound, depending on the various upgrades that are available for it. Uh, now, unfortunately, there's only one of these in the entire game, uh, so you couldn't just go out and constantly find these and then sell them for big profits. That said, if you're not a pistol user, uh, you may find that you don't have any use for the Alien Blaster pistol. Now, ultimately, you can get this from the Zeta Alien in a cave uh, that's near that UFO crash site that is relatively close to the Overland Station. Uh, if you do decide to sell this thing, don't upgrade it as that will actually lower the value to weight ratio. Anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. As always, take care and I'll see you all next time.